Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of PokeMMO Competitive Team Building. Since last episode, I've been breeding quite a lot of Duskulls, and I also met up with this amazing guy. I presume his name's Nick, but I'm not too sure. He was a godsend, honestly. He's helped the series a lot, as you will see in a second. He helped me get set up with this fabulous tuxedo, which you can't really see because my beard kind of covers it, but it is amazing. Looking all professional for the videos now, which is good. He also gave us um, two Pokemon. Same type Pokemon, so I'm just going to breed them to make our second team member. But I've also been breeding a lot of Duskulls. Well, not too many. But I'm kind of getting sick of breeding now, and I want to get into the actual EV training part of this series. So, um, my Duskulls are all in the PC, and I'm going to choose which one is best for us at the moment. So, I really should be breeding more to get better um, IVs which I could do but it's going to take too much time and I kind of want to get into the EV training so I'm going to pick out of all these Duskulls which one's the best so I'll be, be I'll be with you when I've picked the best one. Okay so out of all the Duskulls I've chosen this one because I could get the IVs much better but eh, it just takes time doesn't it and I want to carry on with this series so it's got good attack, good defense, good special attack but that's not useful at all and bad special defense which is kind of a problem however um, its nature is impish so it gets extra defense and minus special attack which is good because we want it to be we want our dust gold to be a kind of kind of a tank so that's quite handy for us so these are the two pokemon i was given by i presume his name's nick again i'm sorry if it's not nick but if it is yeah um so he gave us a dragonite which is absolutely insane fully ev trained amazing ivs good moveset and he also gave us this Dratini which is amazing IVs and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna breed that with that to get our offspring which we'll be using in this series so our second Pokemon's actually gonna be a Dragonite which is kind of overpowered but you know I'm still gonna use it because I love it and it was from him so yeah so what we're gonna do now is because we've got Pokemon we're going to use, we're going to start EV training. I've already got two attack in E, two EVs in attack, sorry, but we're going to have to get that up a lot this episode. So, the first place you want to head if you want to do attack EV, which is the EV we're going to do first, is Fusha City. I'm not quite sure how you say that actually, but I'll meet you there. Okay, so once you're at Fusha City, I presume that's how you pronounce it, I don't really know, I've never actually bothered to find out. Anyway, so once you're here, all you want to do is Walk right from the Pokemon Center and then go in to the Warden's House. And then in his back out wait, this isn't the Warden's House. Next to the Warden's House then, possibly. Well, anyway, I think that's the guy who gives you the good or super odd anyway. You want to go into his back garden and here you will find a lake. And so, what you want to do is you want your uh, Pokemon you want EV trained in the front of your party. And if you have a Macho Brace... It's very handy, it doubles the EVs you get from each Pokemon, so you want to give that to the Pokemon you're training, so in our case a Duskull, and then you just want a fish. So you get, um, there are four Pokemon you can uh, that can come here, and three out of the four give you attack EV. so the only one you do not want to kill here is a Psyduck. So if you find a Psyduck, don't kill it, run away. So, um, you get Gyarados, Seeking and Goldeen here and they all give you a they all give you two attack EVs apart from Goldeen which gives you one but because we've got this macho brace Goldeen gives us two Gyarados and Seeking give us four so it's quite fast here so what you want to do is you want to get this Pokemon out first then for me first I'm going to swap to swipes so I can payday it and get a bit of money and you just want to do that over and over again until you've got the desired number of EVs so this is a spot you would use if you want your Pokemon to level up as well as getting EVs if you want it to level up quite a bit. If not, what you want to do is you want to fly on over to... Who is it? That one or that one? I think it's this one. You want to fly on over, yeah, to Mount Moon. And then once you're at Mount Moon, you just want to walk in and... What you are looking for is just any sort of ladder. Because in Mount Moon, once you're in the tunnels, there's a 100% chance you'll battle a Paras. Paras, however you say it, I'm not too sure. Oh. Sorry, that was a wild battle. So, once you're in a tunnel, please get there without a battle. Yeah, good. So now, every single Pokemon you will find in here is a Paris, which will give you one attack EVs. Yeah, one attack EV. And then you just want to fight these over and over again until you got the desired amount of EVs in attack. So, it's a bit of a tedious 
process, but it's well worth it, trust me. You will be able to see the effects it has quite soon, actually, after you start doing it. So, for me, because they're level 7, we're only level 8, and I don't particularly want to die. I'm just going to swap out to swipes over and over again, and I'll be doing this for a bit, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Also, there's a little feature I didn't know about, and it is, as soon as you use a move that will kill this Paris, you'll actually see your EVs go up, as you can see here. That'll go from 8 to 10. So yeah, I didn't actually know it would show it straight away, but it does. So yeah, that's quite handy if you want to know how much EV, well, what EV each Pokemon gives. You could figure it out that way. Also, um, if you do, by accident, say you get like five EVs in, I don't know, like speed or something, and you don't want that on your Pokemon, there are specific berries you can get which lower a certain IV, EV. Sorry. So you want to keep that into consideration instead of having to start all over again. Hey guys, um, I'm just wondering, is mine the only Pokemon that does this quite often? It's like, every like hour and a half this seems to happen and I don't have a clue why, because I can still hear the music, but it just crashes, so I haven't got a clue why. Okay, so as you saw, it crashed, so I'm going to take that as a sign, I'm going to carry on training here, so when I see you next, this does go probably be a much higher level. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so... Um, I've done, since you saw me last, I've made a tiny bit of progress, got to 90 EVs in attack, and I think, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to fly over to Four Island, and we just get over here, we're going to fly over to Four Island, and we are going to put our two new Pokemon in the daycare, actually, so I'll do that now. Okay, so I put Dratini and Dragonite in the daycare, uh, daycare center, sorry, and we'll begin X from them shortly, I hope, but, wow, it's super laggy, but, um, on that note, I think I'm going to end the video, sorry if it's been a bit shorter than usual, I've been feeling quite sick recently, so, yeah, so, uh, I was, if you liked the video, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want, and I will see you next time, goodbye.